going on everyone? Check me out here and I'm sure a lot of you out there have been hearing some things about 5G and you might be kind of curious what it is and what does it mean like I am. I have one of my friends here from AT&T Labs, Arun Ghosh, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about what 5G is. We'll start with a virtualized or a software-based network right from the beginning. Another thing uh, that is you know, really exciting is the usage of millimeter wave technology or the millimeter wave spectrum. And it's a completely new thing that we have never yeah. done before. What Arun is saying is that 5G is the next generation of mobile technology. It will eventually increase data speeds and lower latency or network response time, which is important for future technologies like wireless AR gaming and self-driving cars. But it's not just about data speeds. AT&T is also looking at using beam steering technology in its 5G network, which is sort of like taking a road trip with GPS. The network signals can bend, flex, and update itself as you move around. Do you have anything to kind of show me or? You bet, let's go to the lab, I can show you. All right, let's do it. So this is one unit that acts as a receiver. I mean, think of this as your phone. So it'll eventually point. be small. Eventually be small. Millimeter waves, you know, are essentially radio waves. They're at much higher frequency. And what happens when you go in such high frequencies is that the signal doesn't really go that far. Okay. Okay, so Arun's really passionate and he knows this stuff. He's basically saying that frequency and wavelength are key in making way for all the content coming across the network. But millimeter wave comes with challenges. Here he's explaining how they've developed beamforming to help stay connected to moving devices. What beamforming essentially allows you to do is to take the signal and send it towards that customer. It's okay. sort of sending it in every direction. A good analogy would be the difference between a light bulb and a flashlight. With a light bulb, you send the energy in every direction. If you have a 100 watt bulb, mm -hmm. why not do it? But if you are a one watt flashlight, what you do is you take the same light and you focus it in one direction. Now that I get millimeter wave and beam forming, we went outside to see how it would be deployed in the real world. Well, there you have it. That's an actual small cell deployed in the field. We talked about millimeter waves in the lab, so how do small cells in the world kind of connect with the millimeter wave? Right. The signals that will come out of that small cell and come to your phone or your car, those will be based on millimeter waves. So how do you make sure it's all working? You saw the test setup that we have in the anechoic chamber, testing the devices, testing the functionalities of the antenna, the beam forming, all that works in that anechoic chamber is extremely critical. Once you do that, the next step is to really go and test them on a mobile platform in the field. And we put our devices and the 5G equipment on a van and we test it in the field. And finally, once even that step is validated, we then take it to a kind of a market deployment. All right, I get it, but I still haven't seen it in action on my phone. But it turns out AT&T has a 5G trial up and running in Waco, so I headed there to see if I can test it out. I met with Paul Hartman with AT&T Labs. Could we do like a light cross comparison between 5G and what people currently have, which is 4G? So if you want to do the 5G side, I will do the 4G side. All right. And then we can do a direct comparison. Let's see what kind of speeds we get. That is crazy. What? Glad you like it. I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. I could like record a video and instantly upload it to YouTube faster. I'm mind blown right now. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we learned a lot today, and I know I personally feel better informed and even more excited about 5G, and I hope you all do too. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. <laughs>